Okay. ອົງຈຸນຍົບແລະປະກາດມັນຕໍ່ຂ້າຍຈຳລາການໃນເຕບທີ່ສຳລາການ Thank you, Mr. President. Um, so, good, good morning again, again, Madam Witness. So, um, we talked uh, before the break about um, COM. I would like to now ask you a few questions about some other um, 105, District 105 card race and sector card race. Um, first of all, I would like to start with um, Dr. Kiev. Um, you were asked a question about uh, Dr. Kiev by the investigators of the co-investigating judge. Uh, question 29. And uh, in that answer to that question, you, s you said that Dr. Kiev was arrested uh, during the Khmer Rouge regime. Um, do you remember any details as to the reasons for Takiev's arrest? Do you know if there is any relation between Takiev and uh, the former Leader of the West Zone, uh, Chuchet, alias C. Uh, do you know whether there is any relation between Takiv and Chuchet, also known as C, who used to be? Um, the former leader of the West Zone and before that of the uh, Southwest Zone. Okay. Um, another. Andre, I would like to ask you a question about is a person named uh, Im Cham. Um, you were asked uh, several questions about her. Um, but there's one question that was asked to you that I would like to uh, particularly talk to you about, and that is your answer to question uh, 312. Um, I will read both the question and your answer, Madam Witness. The question is as follows. A witness said, quote, Ye Bun was white, Im Cham was black, unquote. White and black meaning kind and unkind. Why did they make such a comparison? Can you describe what Im Cham was like? Um, your answer is, I cannot describe Im Cham because I did not actually know her. Some witnesses seek the facts personally. So it is not all correct because some people had conflict of interest. That's your answer. Um, what I'm interested in, Madam Witness, is why there is a witness, apparently, who calls you white as opposed to black and kind as opposed to unkind. Do you know any reason for this?
C'est une question qui invite le témoin à spéculer, Monsieur le Président. Je voudrais m'y opposer. Uh, well, Mr. President, if, if the co-investigating uh, judge or the investigators can ask this question, I certainly can ask this question as well, I would say. Um, plus, I'm not asking the witness to speculate. I'm just asking um, the witness if she can put this um, particular answer of the witness in perspective. That's what I'm doing. And I think I'm entitled to สัตว์ไทยไทยตอบในตำรวจนี้บ้านคำเบื้องไทยไทยตอบในตำรวจนี้บ้านมาสันบ่าลูกไทยจำตำรวจได้บ้านสูนี่จ้าย่อมซ้
to select a good cooperative chairperson in the village to find a good person. After the villagers had agreed to select, some, to select someone, I appointed that person to be a chairperson. I was authorized um, to remove bad or uncivilized cooperative chairpersons and make them become ordinary people again. The cooperative chairpersons were normally selected from the ordinary people. Now my question to you is, can you give us an example of um, a bad or uncivilized cooperative chairperson that you, uh, in your duty, in your function, uh, removed? จ้าสมจมเรียบทาปัจจัยจนได้มีประเทียนสหกรณ์มันเป็นปัจจัยจนธรรมดาติได้ทาทาโฮปลือโฮปควะลวดเละเจียมโฮปอาหารเราขนม
Um, I will get back to uh, Peck Jim later, Madam Witness. Now I would like to ask you some questions about a person um, named uh, Saum. Um, you spoke also about him to the investigators, um, more specifically in question and answer 58 of your statement. Uh, and I will read that to you. Um, the question is, at the time, who was Sector 13 Committee? And you answer, at the very beginning, Damok and Uncle Saum were Sector 13 Committee. Uncle Saum might have been Sector 13 Secretary because he was always the speaker and decision maker during meetings. Do you recall having said that to the investigators? What else do you remember about Sam? I understand. Um, Madam Witness, I would like to read an excerpt to you from a document which is E3 slash 1682, English ERN 0081907425, French 0082928, French and Khmer 0001396. It is a uh, document which is uh, a confession of uh, Chu Chet, probably given uh, during his detention in S21. And I would like to read uh, the specific passage uh, to you. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je n'ai pas trouvé ce document ni sur la liste qui a été communiquée la semaine dernière. Il y a des documents à soumettre à ce témoin, ni sur l'interface. Alors, je m'interroge sur la volonté de la défense, une nouvelle fois, de vouloir surprendre à la fois la Chambre et les partis, et spécialement en plus un extrait et je ne sais pas de quel extrait il s'agira, euh, dans la mesure où il s'agit de ce que Chouchet aurait dit, peut-être sous la torture, nous y opposons de toute façon. Il s'agit de citer ce que des interrogateurs auraient rapporté ou des annotations, c'est Mais de toute façon, il y a d'abord une question de principe et un obstacle, qui est celui du principe de contradictoire. Ce document n'a pas été communiqué et on se retrouve de nouveau dans une situation de surprise euh, qui est très désagréable s'agissant d'un processus qui se veut contradictoire et respectueux des droits des autres parties. Donc je m'oppose à ce qu'ils assurent que ce document soit demandé par le confrère. Um, Mr. President, the prosecution is right. I apologize. I thought it was on uh, our interface list. Um, um, may I suggest that I leave this question to after the lunch break um, in order for the all parties to be able to um, study this document well. It has been discussed already last week uh, and the week before, so I presume um, the prosecution is, is aware of the document. Um, but it is something went wrong uh, by, putting it, by not putting it on the interface. Um, so I, I, I concede um, deferring, that's my suggestion, uh, the question to after the break. But of course, I would still like to ask questions.
sebentar sih nih tei tei ada tei ada tei kampai xong chơi lụi chơi cầm xong mặc lao vậy. Oui, merci Monsieur le Président. Maître Copé, la Chambre souhaiterait tout d'abord avoir des, des précisions et être sûr d'avoir bien compris ce que vous avez l'intention de faire. Est-ce que vous pourriez nous dire si vous avez l'intention de lire le contenu de l'aveu de Chuchet, de l'aveu qu'il a donné à S21 Ou est-ce que vous avez l'intention de lire des annotations qui figureraient sur cet aveu Et la deuxième question euh, concerne 
la pertinence de euh, cette euh, question, de cette euh, lecture, compte tenu de ce que ce matin, vous avez déjà posé des questions aux témoins concernant Chouchette et l'existence de liens éventuels entre Chouchette et des cadres du district de Trankak et que le témoin vous a répondu qu'elle ignorait tout de cela. His description about the political stance or behavior of Saum, um, and where he says that uh, Saum um, was, a, you know, was an, a too oppressive person within the sector. That is the, the passage I would like to read to uh, the witness. Est-ce que ce n'est pas exactement le, le même sujet que, euh, qui est abordé ici que celui euh, concernant la question que vous avez posée ce matin même à, au témoin Donc quelle est la pertinence Il me semble qu'elle a déjà répondu à cette question. Uh, the statement of Chuchet that Saum was uh, a very oppressive and radical person. And uh, my question to her would be if she would agree with this, yes or no? Écoutez, encore une fois, quelle est la pertinence Elle vous a dit qu'elle ne connaissait pas, qu'elle ignorait tous les liens possibles. Est-ce que vous pensez qu'elle était à S21, qu'elle a assisté au, à l'interrogatoire de Chuchet I'm intending to ask her if she knows anything about the relation between Chuchet and Saum. I want to ask her something uh, what Chuchet apparently said uh, while in S21 that Saum was an oppressive, uh, radical left wing uh, cultural revolution kind of person. That's what I want to ask her. ลูกเวทกุเปอองค์จํารับสมจํารับลูกทาสมโนทั้งหลายนะได้ดอกสร้างในคลําซ้าในกําหนดให้ได้บานบอกปีการถือตรงกรรมองค์จํารับมันอน
briefly on uh, in relation to questions of Judge Lavergne about a man called uh, Salvan alias Salpok. And this morning, you testified that you did not recall uh, clearly about him, I quote you. And you said that he was in charge of the commune, but that you did not know his position. You also said that he was in charge at the same time as, uh, as, as you were, and that you didn't know uh, when his duties ended, and that you worked together for a long time. And that is um, my understanding of your testimony this morning. I would now like to read you an excerpt from uh, his statement to the investigating judge. Uh, and then I uh, would I like to ask you if this somehow refreshes your memory. Um, Mr. President, I'm referring to document E127-7.0. 1.8, um, uh, English year N00901568, Khmer 00893275, and French 00978647. Um, the investigators ask, are asking Selvan the following question. Prior to the Khmer Rouge era, 17 April 75. Where did you live and what did you do? And um, Salvan alias Salpok answers as follows. Answer one. Prior to 1975, I farmed paddies at Srekro village. I did not hold any administrative position. After the coup d'etat in 1970, I got married in Traping Tuk village, Cheng Tong commune, and later I moved to live with my wife in Trapang Tuk village. Because I was formerly a student, the Khmer Rouge Front assigned me uh, to be the Trap Peng Tuk village chief in 1970. On January 1, 1971, I was assigned to work in the re-education committee of Popel commune in Trampak district. I would like to clarify that Chang Tong commune, Trampak district, was liberated area during that time, and the Khmer Rouge assigned me to be the commune chief. After 17 April 75, I was assigned to be the Kampong Sve Commune Committee, Kin Sve District in Sector 25, the Southwest Zone. Um, Madam Witness, having heard the answer of Salvan to this question from the investigating judge investigators. Does it somehow refresh your memory about uh, Salvan? លោករដ្ឋរីខំបឿនឆ្លើយតបនឹងសំនួររដ្ឋរីស្ដាប់បានទេចាស្ដាប់បានខ្ញុំសំឆ្លើយថាខ្ញុំនឹកឃើញគ
I read his answer to you, and in his answer, he described the various positions that he held. And my question to you is whether you remember, whether you know uh, that it is accurate what Salvan said about his positions. Uh, more specifically, he refers um, to his work at the re-education committee of Popel. Um, do you remember or do you know whether your husband knew um, Salvan? And my last question, having read his, his background, does it somehow jog your memory? Do, do other things come back as to um, the person, policies of Salvan? ดังอภิโกนยบายหรือก็โกชมเพิญยบายหรือบัสสาวะสาวะนั่นน่ะฤทธิ์จ้ะខ្ញុំស្គាល់ធ្លាប់ធ្វើការជាមួយគ្នា
clock 37 minutes and 50 seconds. So the question, Mr. Peck Jim, um, to this cadre, which is Salvan, is as follows. Question 5. As the Kampong Sve Commune Chief, did you receive an order from the upper echelon to arrest people? End of quote. Answer. As part of the Kampong Sve Commune Committee, I did not wish to harm anyone who did something wrong. But the commune level had the right to report to the upper echelon. I had rights to report to the upper echelon. For example, when people did not have enough rice to eat or when they produced only two tons of rice per hectare. With this regard, Grandfather Mok issued an order that the commune, district and sector levels did not have the authority to make arrests or kill people. Question. What levels did the commune level have rights to report to? Answer. Um, the commune level had rights to report to the district level, but in order to make a report about a person, the commune committee of five, seven members had to hold a meeting to have an agreement before making the report to the district level. Question. Grandfather Mok said that the district and sector levels did not have the authority to kill people. Why were many people killed in the district and the sectors? Savan, in his statement, answers, I did not know either about the implementation, but I recall Grandfather Mok's remarks clearly. Question. Was Grandfather Mok in the zone committee? Yes, he was, is the answer of Salvan. Madam Witness, and then I tell Mr. Peck Jim that now the important part of Salvan's statement comes, and I quote again. When did Grandfather Mok make this announcement? Answer of Salvan. Grandfather Mok made this announcement prior to 1975 during a wrap up meeting held annually in Forest, participated by the commune, district, and provincial committee and the regiments. After 1975, there was another meeting in the provincial town of Takiu in the presence of Grandfather Mok and Saum, who was in the Sector 13 committee announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed. Question again to Salvan. You meant that soldiers from the ranks of second lieutenant to colonel were not arrested. Answer, I did not know because implementation was varied from sector to sector. Now, these excerpts from Salvan are put by me uh, to Mr. Peck Jim, and Mr. Peck Jim answers as follows. And that is shortly before uh, 9.43. Mr. Peck Jim, quote, I only attended the meeting after 1975 behind the party office where Tamok also attended. And the meeting that was held in the forest, I did not attend. Maybe it could have been Kom attending the meeting. It was hardly possible to convene the meeting of all members. My question to Peck Jim. I understand, so I will focus on that second meeting in the provincial town of Takiu. This cadre talks about uh, after 1975. In his answer, in Takiyo, it was after the liberation. In Takiyo province, the meeting was held after 1975. It was held in one of the houses along the river edge, north part of the provincial town. That was the learning session over there, and the sector committee and the district committee, including the military committee, attended. Question. Um, 
uh, sorry, answer. The meeting held in Takiyu took place after the meeting in Phnom Penh. Further down, 946. Question. Um, but do you confirm the statement of this southwest zone cadre who told the investigators that Tamok announced that soldiers with the ranks from second lieutenant to colonel were not to be harmed? Do you confirm this southwest zone cadre statement? And then Madam Witness Peck Chim answers, yes, that is correct. But I can confirm the statement that that was the announcement at that time. My question to Peck Chim, do you remember if any other cadres from District 105 were present at this meeting? More specifically, do you remember if Boon was present at this meeting as well? Back Chim answers, yes, a little further down, yes, that's correct, the woman. For that, Boon was present in the meeting in Takil. And then Pek Chim goes on to answer, approximately uh, 50 to 60 people. They were representatives from the military, from the base. There was no one representing the department because Tamok attended himself. And as for the military, they would convene, they would invite the commanders from the regiment or division to come. And they also extended the invitation to the district and commune, but to some communes only, not all of them. They were of similar rank, but there were different tasks designated to them. That's why certain communes attended and others did not. I think I, I will pause here because it's, it's a long uh, excerpt that I've been reading. Um, my first question to you, Madam Witness, do you remember attending this meeting after the liberation in 1975 in Takiyo provincial town, um, which both Salvan and Pek Chim attended, and that you apparently also attended. Do you remember this meeting? There's a double ne negation in, in your answer. Can, can you repeat your answer, please? So you're not recalling the meeting? Is, is that what you're saying? Um, could it be possible? I mean, you have, um, it's a long time ago. Could it be possible that the Pek Chim was right and that you did attend such a meeting in Takiyo provincial town after 75? ตามบอกประกาศหันจังเตเพราะเวียเวียยูให้ขย่มก็มันบานจำออกได้ประกาศเรื่องเตเฮียนเรื่องไอ้ดึกมันบานปัตตาบอก
Salvan and Pekchim um, refer to a very specific meeting in Takio provincial town. Let's 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 start there. Um, he's also describing a specific place uh, of the meeting. Um, maybe you can can try to remember. Probably the meeting took place in May. Uh, June, July 75. Do you remember such a meeting? Um, does it come to your memory if you think well? Mr. President. <laughs> Merci, Monsieur le Président. Je vais dire que c'était une question répétitive. Les réponses ayant été très claires de la part du témoin, mais elle a répondu avant que je puisse faire d'objection, donc je me suis rassis. Um, let me read some more details from Peck Chim's statement. Maybe that will jog your memory, um, Madam Witness. Uh, Mr. President, same document. Um, that is at 9.48. Uh, question to Peck Chim, Madam Witness. Do you remember roughly how many people attended this meeting? Peck Chim's answer. Approximately 50 to 60 people. There were representatives from the military, from the base. There was no one representing the department because Tamok attended himself. And as for the military, they would convene, they would invite the commanders from the regiment or the division to come. And they also extended the invitation to the district and commune but to some communes only, not all of them. They were of a similar rank, but there were different tasks designated to them. That's why certain communes attended and others did not. And then I asked the question um, at 10 uh, 9.54, excuse me. Um, the question to Peck Chim, Madam Witness, whether he remembers anybody uh, being present. He said, uh, Peck Chim, and I quote, I only recall that there was Tamok, Pen, Saum, and on that day, Kom did not attend. He had asked for leave to visit his family. And at the sector level, it was sector 13, and I do not recall others. Mayor's Mook was not there, but Ren was there. And Room was there as well, but his alias was 05. And then my last question to Peck Chim uh, in relation to the meeting, and I quote that is at 9.56, you confirmed that it was Tamok who spoke and it was Tamok who gave the instruction in relation to ranking officers. Did Saum himself also speak? Answer of Peck Chim, whenever Tamok spoke, Saum did not speak. Only when Tamok did not say anything, then he would explain. That was the rule and the working procedure. If the senior, if the superior spoke, then the subordinate must not speak. So some did not speak at that meeting. Um, I've given a little more, some more details from Peck Chim's statement in relation to that meeting. Um, and again, my question, um, I realize it's a long time ago, Madam Witness, does it somehow jog your memory? Um, very well, thank you, Madam Witness. Um, I have some more minutes. I would like to ask you about uh, some questions about um, uh, minor offenses and serious offenses. Um, you gave testimony 
Madam Witness, um, to the investigators of the co-investigating judge, um, question 151 and 152. Uh, and these are questions about uh, sexual offenses. The question is as follows. You specified two types of minor and serious crimes, and serious crimes included sexual rape. In terms of punishment, how were the victims and perpetrators uh, punished? And you answer, the victim was not punished, only the rapist was punished. Question. When we talk about the term rape, that is the act of forcing someone by violence to have sexual intercourse. Did you mean this? Uh, your answer? Yes. In cases of a man raping a woman and the woman did not consent, the man was punished uh, while the woman was not. Uh, do you remember, Madam Witness, giving this answer to the investigators? Do you recall uh, whether uh, in your commune while you were chief, you ever um, sanctioned or somebody was ever sanctioned for uh, a sexual offense? Do you remember any concrete example? ទីហរនៃការអត្តនកម្មនៅក្នុងគុំលោកស្រីដែរទេចាអត់មានទេក្នុងគុំខ្ញុំតែក្រាន់តាមានច្បាប់អញ្ចឹងអឺ do you remember or do you know whether this rule was ever enforced against sexual perpetrators in other communes within the district. Um, I ask you for specific examples of um, people who were punished in your community for sexual offenses. You said that you didn't know any examples. My question is, do you know any examples from other communes within District 105? សរុកមរតាមតាមមានការដាក់ទណ្ឌកម្មអ្នកដែលរំលោភគេដែរទេចាអាចមានមានដាក់ទណ្ឌកម្មចាទណ្ឌកម្មនោះក៏ខ្
new person uh, named Korn in a place U Svai Chek. Um, Mr. President, I think this is a, a good moment to pause. បាទបងប្អូនលោកមេធាវីបាទលានេះដល់ពេលសម្រាក់ថ្ងៃត្រង់ហើយឲ្យមានប្រកាសសម្រាក់ចាប់ពីពេលនេះទៅទៅលោក